up, nice to meet ya. Huh? Bitch, I'm Asian, need a feeder. I got my feet up, smoking peas like I'm a vapor heater. Eater? That nigga flexing. Hey everybody, it's Imani and today I'm going to show you guys how I install this wig from start to finish. So if you are um, interested in how I did this and you like it, then keep on watching this video. And if you like how this wig looks and you want to know more about wigs and stuff like that, then definitely check out my video, Things That You Should Know About Wigs. I'll have it at the end of this video and I'll also have my wild african hair review video that i've reviewed away from my african and uh if you guys want a wig a review on this missy hair boutique wig comment that down below but let's get right into the video my shirt gonna change my shirt is gonna change this is the wig it is a ice it was an ice white wig from missy hair boutique it's 14 inches straight hair this is how it looks when it's just air dry i'm sorry if that noise is irritating y'all i'm gonna put it down and i dyed this wig by myself and i just used the adore cajun spice and the adore cinnamon and they look like this so for this wig i'm going to be laying it using the stocking cap method and this is the cap that i'm using it's way lighter than me but uh, i've used a white wig cap before i've used a black wig cap before and it still looked good so i really don't care about the color anymore so first i use the got to be glue and i use this one and i just put that all over my hair and on my hairline just so that the wig cap will actually stay on and be good this is also what I use before anybody gets impatient. This is what I use to lay my actual wig. I use the Walker Tape Ultra Hold, and this can last for up to three weeks. And I've tested it before. Well, I haven't tested it, but like I had my wig in for more than a week. And it was in for two weeks and then like a half. I could I took it out yesterday. But it could have stayed in longer. Just I know how it looks when it looks really good. And it was starting to get ugly in my opinion. So I was ready to change it. So I take the yellow got to be glue. And you want to get a designated comb to do this because it's going to definitely bitch did you just drip on me it's going to definitely mess up the comb people who can lay their wig with this stuff either are just keep sorry are either are just keeping it in for a day or two or really just i don't know this stuff is working miracles for them because i cannot lay my wig with this so basically you just want to keep putting it on smoothing it down putting it on smoothing it down in different areas all around the perimeter of your head so that the wig cap can lay nice and be around your head brush and silk and brush and slick see the difference between that that is like super laid down and then that is like grumpy bumpy and we want a very smooth surface even though my wig is probably gonna lay the flattest out of everybody in the school because I'm bald. Take your wig cap. So after I glued it and I slipped it all around my hairline, I just take my wig cap and apply it. You pull it down kind of far because you want it to cover your sideburns as well. Do you want to slip that? Make sure you do not go above your hairline with the glue because when you do that, you want to cut it right where your hairline starts. So that the wig can lay right where the hairline starts if you get what i'm saying and then this is the black kind you want to put this on top all right so now you take the black glue and you want to just put this on the top i'm actually running out so basically what this does is seals the two glues together and it seals it with the wig cap and it just makes a very very good bond and um yeah you just do the same exact thing that you did with the yellow glue with the black glue same exact process just on top of the wig cap and once again do not go above your hairline definitely make sure you get the back definitely make sure you get the back because the back it will definitely be easier to fold up with the tension with the elastic band this wig has an elastic band in the back but yeah so when this is dry it's ready to cut i will come back to you guys sit under the dryer the hooded dryer or you can even blow dry it on hot for about 20 30 minutes basically just until it's dry i'll see you guys in a minute all right so now i'm back and i'm about to cut the wig cap to my hairline and it's completely dry well that's not that dry but that's not in the front so I'm okay and I'm also <laughs> kind of in a rush trying to see if I can go get my friend before school is over so I'm trying to finish before 11 so while you're doing this be very very patient go as slow as you can I sped it up here so it's kind of ironic but take your time be slow and make sure you're cutting it right to your hairline even if you want to do a little bit above your hairline and make sure that all your hair is covered but be very, very careful and take your time. Do the front and the back and just really take your time. That's the key here because once you do it, you don't want to have to redo this entire process because it actually takes a good little minute. Okay, so now once again, take your walker scalp protector and 
just put it where the glue is meant to be. That's what they say on the actual product. Put it where the glue is meant to be. A layer or two. Do a little soft pats. Soft. Just want to kind of push it in. You got to push it in to release the product. And then kind of clean it up a little bit. If you think that this stuff is going to be there, then you can put some down. But if you don't, then just leave it, to be honest. Alright, so now that that is dry, it says it's tacky, which is tacky. I'm going to start laying my glue. This is probably the last time I'll be able to use this. It's everywhere. But just put it along all right here. So a little bit on, your, a little bit on the actual skin and a little bit on there. So as you can see, it was kind of lifting when I was doing it because I put the scalp protector on last. If you want to use the scalp protector, put it on before you even start doing all the wig cap stuff. But as you can see, I just spread the glue along my entire hairline. If you want, you can do it like piece by piece. You can do the middle, then the side, then the other side. If you want to take it slow, but I mean, this is like my third or fourth time putting on my own wig. So I'm pretty sure I got the hang of it now. But as you can see, it's extremely messy. Just be very careful. <laughs> Once again, be very careful. Now, now the glue is applied all over my head, all over the front where I actually want it. And I am going to blow dry it all cool and just let it adjust and let it melt. And then I'm going to get all of this off of my hands because, yeah, this is my last time. Definitely my last time using this damn glue because it did me so dirty. All right, so I just got done blow drying it and you see... I can touch it, but my finger's not getting entirely too stick, too stuck to it. That is how you know it's ready. So now my wig, I'm just gonna take her off of here. I always use the elastic band because I don't like to glue it in the back. Oh, sis, she's still cute though. Throw the hair behind your head like that. Put my elastic band on. Make sure there's no hair stuck in there because once they're stuck, they're going to be stuck. Especially since a lot of times the glue will stick to the elastic band and they will keep it on there for however long you're planning on having your wig on. It will be very careful. I was not being careful. And look what just happened to me. Like I said, since the wig is just tacky, if any hairs get stuck, I just pull it and they just come right off. So now you want to slowly get it adjusted. There's no rush. Pull it the comb. The other combs are flipped. So I'm going to align the middle. Start shimmying it up. Until you lay it. Alright, it is laid. I'm going to smooth it out. You're supposed to use the right tip comb to do this. Any baby hairs, you want to kind of push them up and out so that it doesn't stick to the glue. But so that you're actually getting your lace on the glue. And just piece by piece, I just go and I lay it. I don't ever try to just take the whole thing and just like slide it on. I go a little bit over the side, then I lay that, then I go to the next piece, and I kind of just keep going. And that's not a good comb to use because it's kind of thick at the end. You want to use the comb with the metal end because it's very precise. Um, that's one thing I would have done differently. And just keep pushing it in there. When the glue is tacky, that helps it, that prevents the like actual hairs from sticking to the glue and messing up. That's why you want to get it tacky and not just slap the glue on your head and slap the wig on. That used to be a huge mistake I would make when I first started wearing wigs. I would just put the glue on and try to slap the wig on and that's a no-no. See, the hair was stuck and I simply lifted it off. It was not hard at all. This is where you start playing with it, you start looking at it, making sure that it's all flat and it's all even and you like it. Um, see, I was making sure that the baby hairs were going to line up. And I noticed that a piece on the side was really long and that was like the second time that I installed it and it was long. First time I ignored it because I might have just installed a cricket, but the second time I was like, no, it's just too long. And I had to cut it off. So you just make adjustments as you go. Okay, my camera cut off. 
but um yeah like i said <clears throat> every time it's gonna look different a lot of times up close my lace won't be cute but once i do like the edges and the baby hairs and stuff you can save it so don't ever get discouraged when trying to do this because underneath can look so hideous with the right styling techniques and stuff it can be so cute all right so right now i'm just gonna try to you know fix any pieces that i can but after this is gonna just be the baby hairs and then i'm pretty much done like i said with the wig sometimes you can put it on and it can be beautiful sometimes you can put it on and it can be trash this is still and i can't really tell the lace foundation is kind of trash but like i said you can always save a wig with a good set of baby hairs so right now i'm gonna take some powder and i'm going to put it in my hair as precisely as possible so that i can put it on top of the glue and make sure that it doesn't like shine through and capture continue to capture hairs like once the glue is, is once the wig is pressed on there it's good right. this my wig slides a lot once it's like been on my head for a little minute and it starts to like warm up and stuff while it's on your head because it's gonna be on your hair a lot and I guess my head gets super hot which I'm pretty sure a lot of our heads get hot but still glue starts to get everywhere so if I can just kind of press the powder onto there and kind of cap it off and like stop it from doing too much then we should be good so now i just take eco styler gel and i just do my edges this takes a few tries that's why i use eco styler instead of going straight in with got to be which i don't use on my edges anyway because it can make the lace look clumpy but um yeah so just using gel and going over it a few times and doing it will definitely help you perfect your edges it's just gonna take a few times <laughs> and yeah pretty much part this is just what i did for the most part i don't even know what to say no more like i'm so ready to be done editing this video this video was an hour and that was like going to be 14 minutes i guess i don't know i'm tired but yeah just keep going over it and then when i'm done i'm gonna wrap it for the most part i'm just gonna wrap it i'm gonna put a scarf over it and i'm gonna let it sit for the rest of the day and that'll keep the glue in and it'll keep the gel on the edges on tying it down this is a scarf it was long full scarf and I cut it up into strips so that I could actually tie my edges down without having a humongous scarf. Make sure the pieces are nice and flat, not mambo jambo so that it won't mess up the actual hair. Alright, so this is how I get my hair straight. First, I just straightened it. I didn't show you guys this, but I just get it like more, like pretty straight for the most part. And then I take my cap and I wrap my hair within there. And it's actually really hard to wrap a bob. But I just like, first I just take my hair and I brush this half like over. I always put something over my edges too individually, but I didn't do it last night. But I wrap this half over and then I will put this cap on. This is like inside is satin on the outside it's not put that on then i take a brush and i just keep brushing it on the inside and let it like you know go around and um yeah this is how it looks in the morning when i take it down and start to brush it out yeah that is pretty much it for this video if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe for more videos, for more hair videos, whatever type of videos that you guys really want, you can just comment down below. Let me know if y'all want more vlogs, more driving vlogs, more school vlogs, more hair videos. But yeah, I have to do that montage. I have to like pose and be like.